Okay, so today I am going to show you how to make hydro hydrogen peroxide gel. And yes, I have found a way to make hydrogen peroxide gel. And um, I've been hunting and hunting and I know this uh, thing called car bomb bomber gel. Um, that's what they made out of. A lot of things are made out of. So I've been researching and I found something for you. And that's right there. But before I go into that, before I, I talk about that, let's talk about what the gel would look like. And here's what the gel would look like. I'll demonstrate it for you. Okay. And see how it's not really runny? See that? It's really awesome. Believe it or not, I really love this. Look at that. I can leave a drop on here and look little drops you see that and then I'll put it on for you it is I believe this is my favorite to be honest it always become my favorite the gel hydrogen hydrogen peroxide gel sorry it's a little late here let's see and what's good about it is that it's really soft. It has a little bit of that, have a little bit of glycerine in there already. So most of the stuff that we need, sort of like aloe vera, it's already in there already. And this is what it looks like. And this is what it is. And imagine, imagine, this is 80% hydrogen peroxide. And it comes out to a gel. Mm. Imagine. Okay. Now, since I gave the demonstration on that, let's go into talk about our star today. Before we go into the making, we are going to talk a little bit about a star, a superstar. Now, you have to go into the gel section of the hair styling gel section okay and you are going to find something like this this I happen to get it at the dollar store okay and yes you can get it at a dollar store but see where it says extreme hold when you when you go to the hair styling section okay try to get the lowest one of them all okay sometimes they'll put a number on here like for instance, this one doesn't have it. But try to get the lowest number if they have a number, okay? Another thing that you can do is test it, okay? Open a little bit and dip your finger in there and test it on here, on your finger right here to see if it's sticky, okay? If it's sticky, that's mean it's extreme hold. That mean don't get those, okay? But it just... You know, look how it looks, like a, like aloe-like. That's what we want, okay? So go into the hairstyling section um, and find clear gel, okay? Then, then, you go and look for the ingredients, okay? And then... You would look for this right here. I'll leave I'll leave it at the screen because it's kind of dark right now. It's called car bomber. And that's what they made the gel out of. Okay? Uh sometimes look how they did. They put they already put glycerine in there, they already put fragrance in there, and they already put preserve it in there too. So there's few things in gel, basically, few things in gel that when you get it. You don't really need to buy anything extra. That's what's great about them. Okay. And yes, I hunt for them. And I, you know, I study a little bit. So that's how I was able to come up with this idea to make gel. Now, here's the thing. That same ingredients you would, you would see in a lot of cosmetics and stuff. In case you're wondering if it's safe or not. Well... They put this on your, your on your head. I'm pretty 
at least it's safe, right? Not like we're eating it anyway, right? But this is a styling gel. Not just any styling gel. It has to be the clear one, okay? Because then they'll put less stuff in there. Then, like I said, test it out. Test it right here. And see how nice and smooth that is. Okay? So go to the store. Go to the styling section. And find yourself a nice gel. If you're wondering where I got this one from. I got this one from the dollar store for one dollar. Okay? Okay, so now we're into the mixing part. I have already poured my 80%, okay? Remember, this is 80% hydrogen peroxide, okay? Up to that line right there. This is a 100 mil, okay? And remember, with hydrogen peroxide, I stated in many of my videos, you always do 100 mil at a time, okay? Now I got my mixing thing right here. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to put my gel inside. Now remember, I have already know what it is. So I'm just going to scoop two scoops in there. I know what what my 80, my 20% is. So I become a pretty pro right now. But for you, remember to mix 80, 20 okay and keep it at that you can you can go a little higher if you like um because cobble gel actually do a really good job at um you know keeping it thick or whatever okay but for me i like it around i don't know sometimes it's depend on the day i guess but keep it at 75 above okay maybe that's the easiest way to to do things keep it about 75 or above that would be my suggestion right there i just need just a little bit more just a little bit i want it to be thicker sorry just a little bit thicker but because of this here it's so forgiving you know, um, the cobble gel, they make a lot of stuff. So it's, it's really forgiving. Um, so you can make... Oh, I'm out of camera. Sorry. Okay, now I'm going to pour it in my container. So I can, I can shake it up. I know I should have a funnel, but still chunk left right there. I can see chunk. Oh, I'm out of camera. Oh my god, I'm not doing good today. Sorry about that. See? I measure almost exact. Almost 80 right there. That's 100 right there. Okay. And then now I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to clean this up a little bit here. Because I have a towel right here. Make sure you have a towel or something. And shake it up. And that's it. And that's it. Now it becomes a gel. And I'll show you really quick. Okay. And that's your... You already saw the clip earlier, but this is one more demonstrate. See it? See how the gel look? See? It? So one more demonstration for you before I go. And um, always make sure your hands dry before you do anything. I believe, for my belief, I always love hydrogen peroxide. I think hydrogen peroxide is the best one for hands and everything. But that's not just my opinion. I did everything for everybody. So now you know how to do it. And that's it. And leave it dry, okay? 
with hydrogen peroxide always leave it dry and make sure to get your nails as well yeah this is how I get my nails one more demonstration I go like that first I come over here and I dig my nails into that and I dig my thumb into that and then I do that okay other than that that's about it on the video and so go out there and make it okay I'll see you in the next video whoops sorry I'll see you in the next video I will see you in the next video okay